Hello everyone, I'm Buddy Lemon, International Sales and Marketing Manager for QSA Global, and you are the backbone of the NDT industry. We want to thank you again for being a part of the QSA Global family. We truly appreciate your business and are grateful for the trust you place in us to keep you up and running in some of the harshest, most demanding, and highly regulated environments worldwide. You deserve the safest, most reliable equipment to do your job. We know that as your client's CUI inventory grows, you need to be agile. QSA Global's Open Vision DX enables fast screening facility piping for indications of corrosion to help you scan more piping quickly. Here's Jake Bourne, Vice President, Global Operations and International Sales, answering some frequently asked questions about safety, scanning capabilities, and reporting features of the Open Vision DX. Okay, the next topic that we're going to cover here is radiation levels associated with the Open Vision system. So what I'm going to talk you through is the initial setup. What we have here is a fixed stand with the open vision system, a six inch pipe with two inches of calcium silicate insulation and an aluminum cladding all the way around. What we have over here, we have the uh, scatter boot attached, and then we have the remote trigger set to one meter away from the pipe. What we're going to use for the to measure the radiation levels is the tracer code T402. Now we're in a working laboratory right now, so that's why there is the background levels that you see on the on the display. And what we're going to be doing is at at the different energy levels, high, medium, and low, we're going to be walking around at one meter and measuring the scatter dose. And then by the time we get over to this side, what we're going to be looking at is kind of the primary beam and how, and demonstrating how the imager captures a large portion of that primary beam and, and keeps the doses as low as reasonable. Okay, so the next topic we're going to cover is the dose to the operators. The areas that we're going to be most concerned about are where the operator is going to be grabbing and holding the unit and where they're actually going to stand. So we're going to be taking measurements on the handles, both at the top and on the side, back of the C-arm, but then we're going to also be measuring at the chest, the waist, and the knees. The configuration is the same as before. We're going to have a six inch pipe with two inches of insulation and aluminum cladding. And we're going to have the scatter boot applied just as the same as before. And again, we're going to be primarily focusing on the scatter, the scatter that comes back towards the operator.
Another common question that we get is how fast, what's my production rate with the open vision system? So what we've done is we put together two representative samples of insulated piping with the open vision at various energy levels so that you can see both the image quality as well as the scanning speed of the device. I'm Steve Burdick, application engineer here at USA Global. One of the key features with the Open Vision system is the ability to record live video as well as still images for your recording. This is the snapping of a picture. Okay. Now, this is the snapping of a, a recording of a and stopping the movie. On behalf of everyone here at QSA Global, I would like to thank you for attending. During the exhibit hours, we would love to hear more about you and your NDT challenges. Please feel free to schedule a one-on-one, -on -one, start a live chat with us, or attend one of our virtual showcases. Enjoy the rest of the conference.